Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how you can set up and configure shared folder sync on a Synology NAS. So you're going to need two Synology NASs for this, a source and a destination, and basically you're going to be able to sync files from a specific folder to the destination Synology NAS. So last week I created a video on how you can use snapshot replication, and basically if you're using the BTRFS file system, you're probably going to want to use that because it also will sync the snapshots along with the data. This will only sync the data. So if you're using ext4, this is a perfect option because it basically uses rsync to sync all of the files from your source NAS to your destination NAS. So before we get started, I just want to mention that I have full written instructions for everything in the description of the video. So the first thing that you have to do is on the destination Synology NAS, open the control panel, select file services, and then select rsync, and make sure that the rsync service is enabled. This needs to be configured because we will be connecting to our destination Synology NAS from our source Synology NAS. And like I said earlier, rsync is the protocol that's used to sync the files from the source to the destination. So once that's done, you can head back over to the source Synology NAS. You can then open the control panel, select shared folder sync, and then task list. From there, you can select create, and you're going to have to give your task a name. Once that's done, you're going to have to select all of the folders that you'd like to sync. So you can create one task and sync as many folders as you'd like, or you can break them out one by one. The benefit to breaking them out one by one is that you can set up different schedules. If you want to sync them all at the same time, perfectly fine to just use one task, but if you want to set up different schedules, you'll have to set up a different task for whatever number of schedules that you'd like. Once you're done there, you can proceed, and then you're going to have to enter in the information for the destination Synology NAS. So this will be the IP address and the user account that you need to use. At the bottom there, you're going to see block level synchronization. Basically what that does is that allows the system to determine what exists on the destination NAS, and it will only sync the difference. So they give you the disclaimer that this might take a little bit longer, but it compares the data, and if you only want to sync the difference, then this is probably what you want to use. After that, like I said a little earlier, you can then modify the schedule, and if everything looks good, you can then apply the settings and the folder will start to sync. Now at this point, you'll see on the destination side that a folder exists with the exact data from the source. So I want to be clear here that while this can be considered a backup, you have to be aware that the data is going to sync from your source to your destination. And if any of the data on your source is corrupt for whatever reason, it will sync to your destination. So this is not a replacement for a backup. Now, if you were to use this with snapshots on both the source and the destination, it's more of a backup, but you still want to make sure that you're backing up using something like Hyper Backup or another backup tool to ensure that your data is safe. So at this point, you have a full replica on your destination NAS. If for whatever reason you have to recover it, you always have that data there. And moving forward, the data will automatically sync based on whatever the schedule you specified. So hopefully this made sense. Any questions that you guys have, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Like I said a little earlier, if you're using the BTRFS file system, please check out my video from last week. That's a little bit more powerful than this. And you have a few more features that are built into that that are not built into this. So this is a simplified version of that, though it does work. So thanks so much for watching the video. If it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. Thanks guys.